Hello and welcome to the University of Law. In today's video I'm going to give you a reading list of what I think you might want to listen to ahead of the next H Doctor box set coming out in November 2022. As always with these videos, this is not official, this isn't from Big Finish, this is purely what I've been listening to myself to get myself prepped up for it, to refresh my memory of some of the ongoing stories um, so I can appreciate some of those little references or easter eggs that might enrich the story as we go along. But this is I'd imagine as with all their box sets, you can pick it up and listen to it on its own. They've even said that this is a perfect jumping on point. It's not chained to the previous adventures at all. However, these are things that I think you might benefit from listening to. So the first one is the obvious. It's Stranded Volume 4 that came out earlier this year. And I say that because all of the, the next few X Doctor box sets are actually set inside the final episode of Stranded. Because, spoiler alert, in the last moments of Stranded 4... Livchenko leaves the TARDIS, and that's it. However, she actually departs with the Doctor first and comes back seconds later. And in those few seconds that they're away, all these new adventures are happening. So they all take place within Stranded Episode 4. Um, so there might be some links to some Easter eggs, certainly might be some character threads that come from it, but nothing that's going to prevent your enjoyment. Now, the only thing with this being Stranded 4 is that, as you might have guessed, there are three previous box sets. So... The issue with this as a reading list story is that if you haven't listened to the others, you're going to need to listen to one, two, and three first. And arguably, you're going to have to listen to the 12 volumes that came prior to that. So which, that's the reason why this is a great jumping on point. So really, this is a reading list if, if you've listened to them already, just to refresh your mind. But if you haven't, it, I know it is a big investment. I definitely recommend you buy them long term because they're great audio dramas. However, you're not going to get them listened in time. So... You know, just enjoy next month's um, audio drama and catch up with these in your own time. So Stranded 4, I definitely recommend. And then it's Dark Eyes um, 4. And the reason for that is because the Daleks are featuring in this new story. And it is the very first time the 8th Doctor has faced the Daleks in his time stream since Dark Eyes. Helen's never met the Daleks before. Only, only live, and this is their last encounter. But the last time they met the Daleks, they did lose a companion. They did lose Molly. So, um, obviously, again, this is Dark Eyes Four. So there are three previous box sets, but they are brilliant. They are what launched the sort of new Eighth Doctor era, really. Um, that kind of Night of the Doctor revival that we had was from Dark Eyes Two onwards. So, um, yeah, I did a read of these recently, actually, and. I think with each viewing you get more out of them, the same with um, Doom Coalition Ravenous. The more you listen to them, the more you get out of them. Um, the more you notice, the more you spot that you didn't realise the first time. So I definitely recommend that. What's interesting is that these Daleks are Time War era Daleks. And it does imply in Vortex magazine that this is kind of like a prelude to war. We're seeing the beginning of the Eighth Doctor, um, you know, the Time Lords and Daleks, that Cold War warming up. And that that war is nearly upon us. So, and Dark Eyes itself as a saga really did feel like a prelude to war. So this is obviously taking it one step further. They've now got the bronze casings back from the Second Dalek War in the 26th century. And they're now starting to experiment with time. So I think it'll be interesting. It reads a little bit from the blurb like um, Eve of the Daleks. I wonder how similar that'll be. But it certainly looks like it's been a really fun box. I think it's, it's a two-parter and a one-parter across the three discs. So a two-hour story and a one-hour story. But we haven't had a two-hour story with the Eighth Doctor for for a while, actually, because they're often quite standalone, weren't they? There were some two-parters in there, but they tended to be one one-part stories like you would get in the new, uh, well, in the post-2005 series of Doctor Who. But there we go. So it's just those two that I'd recommend. And as I say, it's really for if you've heard them before to refresh your memory. They are a big investment of time more than anything. So I would definitely recommend that you kind of take your time with these, really absorb them, enjoy them. Um, but yeah, I recommend all the Eighth Doctor stuff. That's uh, what got me into Big Finish and uh, it's what's continued to uh, hook me in. But um, what are your thoughts? Anything I've missed? Anything that you'd recommend be listened to in anticipation of this new release? If you think you can think of anything or anything that you're looking forward to about the new releases, don't forget to add it in the comment section. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I look forward to speaking to you soon.